Hey everyone, it's Overjudge, and welcome back to Let's Play Crook, Legend of the Gobbos. So, uh, last time we got here to the uh, Desert Island, and we got through the first level. Let's get on with the second level here, Mud Pit Mania. Loading. Okay, as always, chip behind us, there is something here. It's a little h too high for us to get to at the moment, though, so uh, I suspect we'll be making up a platform. Uh, these mummy guys are a little a tiny bit annoying, but not really. Uh, there's a button over there that I can't get to because I need a silver switch. Can I actually get on top of this yet? Um, yes, I can. Wait for the mummy to turn around and then swoosh them. They just follow a set path, I think, these mummies, so uh, they're no big deal, but... Oh, a red crystal. That's a good start. I don't think they're stomping around on this causes you to fall down. I'll find out in a second. No. So they just follow a set path, they're pretty easy to defeat. Okay. Ooh, just about got to there. Okay, oh, these wells! These wells are silly. Jump in. And they take you elsewhere, usually to somewhere very dark. I said that we wouldn't be seeing the last of the darkness in the uh, ice world, didn't I? These dark, dark areas are a pain, because I get so lost in these dark areas. And sometimes there's multiple paths to go through, and uh, they're a pain. At least for some reason, Croc is both radiating light from him, and also has a shadow that is directly downwards from him. So there's a gobbo, but that's not what we came for. We came for a silver key, I think, so... Uh, can I pop on top of here? I can. That makes my life easier. So there'll probably be something on, I was going to say, on the other side of this well, and indeed there is. This is what I was talking about, multiple paths in getting lost. Uh, let this bone retract. Yeah, a lot of these, what I call the bones, uh, a lot of these extending platforms in this area. You know what, I'm going to take a shortcut. Uh, that's not a shortcut! Oh. I'm not going to risk another shortcut. I will happily sit on a spinning platform. And these bones aren't... Uh, oh, come on! They're not retracting too far this time, so... I can get on them even when they're short. Well, usually get on them when they're short, I should say. Uh, okay. That looped around to here. Okay, don't get caught in a whirlwind. Uh, it won't damage you, but it will just fling you in a random direction. I think it's random. And, oh my word, there's more wells! See, this is why I don't like these wells. Okay, well, this is the furth... Well, ha huh? This is the furthest well away from anywhere, so... I was gonna say, it's probably a bonus run. Uh, okay. The good thing about these wells, at least, is that I don't think those giant pink guys can uh, pop their heads out of them. So if I do this, I'm not going to be able to get to the uh, platforms, am I? So, uh, but I can only push this onto the non-sandy area for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't move on the sand, maybe it just gets buried in the sand. Yeah, there we go! If you ever try to push something along at the beach, it just gets buried in the sand. So I'm going to have to leave it here and then do that. Okay, so there's another silver cage here with a gobbo in it, which means there's two silver keys laying around. Uh, let's grab... Oh, there's one silver key. So if I really wanted, I could go get that box back at the beginning of the level. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait for this platform and go get that gobbo. Yes, gobbo, I'm here to save you. I would ask how the Gobbo's no crops here to save them, but he's not exactly about to do much else here, and they do know who he is, at least, so it's not like it's, hey, random guy, come save me. Uh, this feels dangerous, but I'm going to take a chance. Okay, good. Okay, and that just leaves me with one more box to go get, so... Here, quickly turn around. Ah! Oh no, don't tell me I had to be on top of that other box to get there. To me, I've screwed myself over. No, I can't screw myself over. You know what? I'm going to do this. No, I can't get there from there. Sometimes you just know if a jump is too far, and that jump was too far. 
Yeah, if I had to be on top of the box that was here to get on top of this box, I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, good, 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 good. Didn't want to miss the green crystal. Okay, so that room is done and done. Don't have to worry about this anymore. There was another well elsewhere here. Uh, hold on. No, not this way. Over there. Okay, wait, well, yeah, I don't want to go back in there. So it's these platforms, then it's the whirlwind. Good. Oh, no, don't stomp it! Okay, good. Phew. There's the other well, but I was going to say, yeah, there's more here. Oh, come on. There we go. I think the game often uses these climbing frame type things as a platform, just because there's there's no, I guess, long floating platform. All the floating platform sort of models and so on that it has are for ones that are this size, this correct one. And so for something that's long, it just has to use uh, this sort of thing. That's my uh, speculation on why you see so many of those. And yay, we stomped the guy. Okay. Now that that's all done, we can go down this well and hopefully find a silver key. If we don't find a silver key down here, then uh, I must have missed it in the first room. Oh, great. Just great. Okay. You can skip around these things as well. You can skip, I believe, over the electric bars when they're going through, but there's no point. Just be patient. You're not doing a speedrun of this. I'm not doing a speedrun of this, anyway. These little crab guys can't launch anything at you, so just don't get near them. I'm not going to be super greedy about crystals. And I'd hope my timing would be good then. Uh, this guy's a pain. But not too much of a pain. Oh, come on. Through there. Through there. Okay, good. I think I missed something in that first room. This is the gobbo, I think, that's uh, broken. So if I just go over to this cage here... Oh, there you go. I didn't even need to... Sometimes you need to swipe that cage. Apparently this time I didn't even need to do that. I just needed to walk up the swim up to it. Well, that's good. It means when you find a silver key that's meant for that, I can go back to the beginning of the level. To where I missed a silver key for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said I was going to treat this level fairly. I guess I lied. I don't know what happens if you get more than one silver key at once. Maybe it doesn't let you pick up another silver key until you used one. I don't know. Either way, yeah, we almost certainly missed a silver key at the beginning. Maybe there was one like right next to the button or something really silly like that. I don't know. Nonetheless. Through here, grab whatever silver keys are waiting us. If there's, if there's no more silver keys awaiting us... Oh no, this is super dark. And uh, yeah, we got a little firefly or something in a bottle to help us. It certainly lights up there. Oh wow, I, uh, I just about avoided damage there. Okay, oh! Okay, good. And yeah, that's a refill. I will happily take that refill. I needed it. Uh, I don't really need that refill. Not just yet, anyway. So I'll take it when I do need it, because, yeah, I had a feeling that uh, that would be seen. Crystals and so on. Uh, is there another platform over there? There is. It's got a life on it, I think, but I'm going to take that refill. Uh, oh, phew! Okay, grab that life. Uh, there must be another silver key around here. Well, anyway, uh, nothing behind there. There's the five crystal door, which I can't go through. I think I've screwed myself over here, because now I've got no refill, I can't see anything. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, the refill respawned. I will take it. <laughs> I will take it any day of the week. I'll take that refill too. Okay, so I must have missed more in the outside area. Does that surprise anyone? Luckily, those things were close enough, but maybe it's, I was going to say, maybe it's behind the well. There's a cheeky life around here. So I'll, I'll take that, but... Uh, this level is being a pain. Is the key just like hiding at the top of the room or something silly like that? No. You can't tell me there's only one key to get everything, all the silver cages in this room. Uh, in this room, in this level, that would just be silly. No, I must have missed it. Oh, is it behind this guy? Oh, I was behind this guy. There we go. 
So this is the key I was meant to use for that gobbo in that previous room. But I didn't need to use it because cages underwater are broken. Ah, no. And some slowdown there from that. Anyway, I'm going to be patient. I know that I had invincibility frames, but this game and invincibility frames don't get along. So... Yeah, these little pink guys can probably live. And through the door. Oop, through the door. Yeah, underwater is really glitchy. They must not have tested it at all. Okay. Now, to see if I can't find my way back. That's not my way back. And this guy isn't my way back either, but I'll kill him. Where is the way back? There it is. I don't know if this is meant to be outside or if it's meant to be just a massive cave. Uh, I always thought it was meant to be outside. So that's the that's the way I've always interpreted it. Jump to that bone. Jump on there. Jump to that bone. I'm not taking any more shortcuts unless I absolutely have to. Okay, good. And across to here. And yeah, we already went that way, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, those walls are a bit glitchy as well. You can land on the side of them sometimes. And there's the key. Well, I guess now we know what happens if you collect two silver keys. Uh, nothing. Or perhaps one of them has now just disappeared for good. I don't know. Either way, yeah, I'm not gonna bother that mummy. And she's not gonna bother me. Okay, now I have the silver key for that cage over there. I've broken this level into a million pieces and uh, put it back together sloppily, haven't I? Okay. Oh no, okay, so it does keep track because I've still got a silver key. Okay. Jump on here. And I'll eventually get round to there. Ah, I thought I could make that jump. Oh well. Up there, up here, and here. What's it got, bro? Wait, am I still missing the pink crystal? I'm still missing the pink crystal. Well, that's a massive pain. Now I've got to go exploring for that, too. And this will be a one-level video. Well, it's going to be a one-level video anyway at this rate, but... I don't tell me the pink crystal is one of those underwater ones I never grabbed. Okay, so the key was round back this well. There was nothing else around here, no. Uh, that that well I couldn't uh, jump into by landing on the edge. Okay, so round back this well was this area. Jump up on top of there, no point in climbing across it. This is double checking there was no, like, crystals that I missed or something! Jump off! Okay, phew. Okay, note to self, that's dangerous. <laughs> Just jump straight onto the bone next time. Okay, no, nothing over here that I miss. Uh, thankfully, I still have my crystal. And. Good. Okay, just climb across now. Uh, oh. Yeah, real problem with climbing across these things is that you can't really tell where the edges are because all the light goes down, as well as your shadow. Again, it's just very strange light physics in this game. There. Across there. Across there. And there, brilliant. Okay, that's the challenging part of this area done. Uh, I'm going to go over here first. Bottom box didn't respawn, but I don't... No, that does matter. Okay. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss it over there. <laughs> uh, oh, the whirlwind got me! That's why you didn't want the whirlwind to get you! 
Ah, no. I've got to do this whole thing again, haven't I? Oh, no. I don't like this room. Okay, next time I'm going to hop back in... Well, no, next time I'm just going to hop in that well, because I don't think it, uh, the pink crystal is anywhere else in this area. So there's no point in sticking around. There we go. Okay, and across here, and that's the half pot out of the way. Oh, didn't think I, was, I thought I was going to grab onto the side of that. It just, just about made it. Okay, through here. Well, at least I've got to demonstrate what the uh, whirlwind does. Okay, it's not something stupid like up from here, is it? No, that's just going to glitch the camera. Out. Don't do that. Ah, there we go. Well, at least I have a crystal now. There's the pink crystal. Okay. I had a feeling it was between these guys. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. There better be crystals here. Good. Okay. I feel more secure now. Uh, this guy's respawned though, hasn't he? So, perhaps I shouldn't be feeling secure. I think as long as you keep moving and it's not directly towards him, he'll miss. Like that. Because he can't lead his shot, he can only shoot where you are. So as long as you're, yeah, moving and not towards him. Uh, may as well open this... Ow! Okay, may as well open this cage. Ah, no! Oh! Okay, I'm getting rid of you. And then hoping there's some crystals in one of these. Good. I'll take those five crystals, I'll get out of here before you respawn. I should have paid attention to that big old shark. I don't think you can kill the big old shark, not with a tail swipe at least. And there's no other way to kill anything underwater, so no, I don't think you can kill the big old shark. Okay. I've done this room once before, you can do it again. Got more crystals. Oh no! Ah, stuck under a bloody platform. Stupid game lava, not invincibility frames. Strangely, I kept the firefly I had going. Anyway, yes. Through here. Oh. And grab the grab the refill. Oh, I didn't think I'd make that. Okay, there's our crystal door. Let's go through it now. <laughs> Is it going to be another ghost? I think it's all ghosts. Yes, it's all ghosts. So, okay. Yeah, if you start taking all the crystals, the ghost will sort of catch up to you so quickly you don't even realise what's going on. Because the crystals are what slows him down. Sometimes, of course, there are some unavoidable crystals. Ah, no! Ah, oh, phew. Okay. Oh no, not these. These are the even worse little cousin of the tiny platforms with uh, with no gravel edges. I think you can grab the edges of them, but if you do, you're pretty much going to fall off. Oh, come on! Thank you. I really panic in these particular uh, bonus areas, especially... What's over here? Oh, that's the actual thing! Oh no! No! Oh! Damn my explorative tendencies and curiosity. Okay. I think the ghost does that woo noise when it's got no crystals to pick up and so it's uh, speeding up. But I don't know for sure because I, I haven't heard it since and uh, well, again it's also very far away. Oh, I didn't want to get all of those. Okay. Tiny little platform. Oh no, it just does that woo noise whenever it wants to. Okay then. Uh, get out of the way of those crystals. You don't want to grab them. We don't like crystals here. Ah, no, no, no! Oh. Okay, I've learned my lesson. Don't go off to the side. There's the key, okay. I thought it was behind the gong for a moment. Hey, get out of the way. I don't think the ghost can harm you, but <laughs> at the same time, if I can avoid it, I will. Okay. There we go, and we can go back and get that gold. Blimey, this was a long old level, wasn't it? 
Doesn't help that I got lost and uh, couldn't find anything. <laughs> also, it's a bit of a shame I didn't grab three more crystals. I could have done with that extra life. Oh well. That's that level over, so uh, next time we're going underground. So uh, thanks for watching, and bye bye.